the, uh, the the deputy secretary of aging and long-term care for the state of uh, New Mexico. Right. I'm uh, in the cabinet with Governor Bill Richardson. He appointed me. And how, how do you feel about the way the health care issues have been handled so far in, in this uh, campaign season? The health care issues are real, real important to everybody, you know, in our country today. You know, we have grandparents, we have our own parents, we have abuelitos, and we need to talk about, you know, what's going on with them with health care or their Medicaid and Medicare. But also, a lot of our seniors and our grandparents are going to senior citizen centers because right now, transportation food costs are very up, are high very now, so we need to find out exactly what's coming from Washington if we're going to be able to um, up and, and get more monies to provide transportation and to help us out with food costs you know, to feed our seniors. And how do you, how do you have, now are you a, a Barack Obama a delegate uh, here this week? Yes, I am. And um, how do you feel the, the campaign is going so far? The campaign is going really, really well. I actually was a surrogate speaker and a senior policy advisor for Governor Bill Richardson in the state of New Mexico. And when he decided, when he made the decision to get out of the race, I endorsed Senator Barack Obama. And I felt that uh, from all the candidates, that he was the closest one that was close to my heart about what I wanted to see in a candidate for running for president. And, and what are those things? Those issues to myself being a Latina were very important to me about, you know, he understands culture, he understands about being raised, you know, by grandparents, you know, my grandparents raised me also with, with, with my parents, and having extended families, having different ethnic um, family members, you know, striving, you know, when um, it wasn't, quote unquote, it wasn't, um, it wasn't cool to be a minority, right. and now it is. <laughs> I guess you can say it that way, <laughs> because now it's cool to be a minority. That's a, that's a good thing. Yeah, it is. But why can we kind of like we're hiding, you know? <laughs> Even though we're going to make a difference in this election. Yeah. Yeah, now, now, New Mexico is pretty much a, it is a swing state. It is it, right. it, 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 very tight, just narrowly missed uh, supporting John Kerry in, in, the, in, right. the, la in the last election. How do you feel this this could be different this year in New Mexico? I know what's different is that, you know, is that we've got Governor Bill Richardson, we've got Patricia Madrid, we've got Hector Valdez. We have a lot of, of great advocates that are on our side and helping us out. You know, Senator Barack Obama's been there three times in New Mexico already. He'll be coming again more, and so will Michelle Obama. And um, we're actually going into northern New Mexico and talking to our Latinos there, Hispanics, which I like to be called Hispanics is um, just getting them to, to get to know Senator Barack Obama. I think that's very important for our Latino community to get to know him. We don't know him. You know, we want to know him. We want to know about who he is. Now, that, that's a very good point. I mean, do you think that that's what happened with the Kerry campaign, that they that uh, John Kerry did not spend enough time in New Mexico? I mean, where, where was the disconnect there? There was a lot of disconnections. <laughs> you know, um, we didn't know him. You know, he didn't come spend a lot of time in New Mexico, and I think toward the end is when we started getting all the literature, actually. Right. If you remember. Yeah, it was like two or three weeks before the election. Right. From, if my memory serves me correctly. Right. It's, it's just an exciting time, you know, especially to see young people, you know, that are involved. I was in Iowa working for Governor Richardson, and when we had the caucuses, I was amazed just being there and seeing these people coming in, and I kept seeing grandmas and grandpas and kids and, you know, older adults and families and children and... They were all coming, you know, to support Senator Barack Obama. So I saw a real, I saw a real something going on when I was at the caucus. Right, that that is really great. So what what do you think? I mean, as as what do you think this this uh, particular convention can do for the Barack Obama campaign? I think this particular convention, especially the delegates from New Mexico, is that we represent New Mexico. We're Latinos, we're Native Americans. Um, we are just representative of the state of New Mexico and I think that's what this convention shows you today as you walk around is that we are representative of the United States, you being Latinos, Asian Americans, um, yeah, it, Americans, it, it is a very diverse community, it, seniors, right. I mean we have our oldest delegate I think in our in our uh, delegation, I think he's 81, his birthday was yesterday, Jay oh, Paul Taylor great. from Las Cruces. Oh that's great, well they hear this in Las Cruces. Well, Gail, it'd be yeah. great because he's saying about Manianitas this morning at breakfast. Oh, that's <laughs> it was good. Well, happy birthday to him. Happy <laughs> birthday to you, Paul Taylor. <laughs> that is great. Well, it's good to meet you. Congratulations and, and enjoy the convention. Abrazos a todos. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Abrazos. Thank you.
You know, and uh, once again, that's Patsy, that's uh, Patsy Trujillo right here on the one and only Mario Feliz Marichal.